So I know I'm primarily known for the mask that I make, but I wanted to show you guys some of the other stuff that I make out of leather. A client of mine was given this really pretty, kind of huge, give you a sense of scale by picking this thing up, knife for a gift. And it's got a little focus. Come on. There we go. A ring there, and another one there. So he has asked me to kind of keep with the raven theme and make a custom sheath for this blade. Because it, it's sharp, and it, it really does need something to stay in. Otherwise it's going to damage someone or something. So, traced the blade off. Made sure that it was wide enough so that the widest point of the blade will be able to fit all the way through. I made that mistake once and made a very pretty paper weight <laughs> because the knife couldn't get in past this point because I wasn't actually using my brain when I designed it. It's going to have a extra little bit trying to decide how long it should be to be comfortable and the most functional. It's going to have a bit so it will actually snap around because it's going to be worn a little bit differently. This is going to be a cross draw so it's going to sit lengthwise across his belt so it can um, be popped and drawn that way. And uh, I do believe it's going to be worn center back but it gives you an idea of how it's going to fit. The dots are where it's going to be riveted together. He requested rivets rather than stitching. I hope that the contrast between a black wing and this really pretty... I don't have any idea what kind of wood this is on the handle, but it's just gorgeous. Yeah, it's going to be heavily carved and tooled in the style, like I've done a couple of my Raven masks. And as I get a little bit more done on this, I'll record more and probably put together one entire video. I'm not going to be giving updates as I go because he is really trusting and said, you know, I, he basically wants a surprise for the sheath, and that's got me a little bit nervous. I really hope he likes it. So, this will be an all-in-one video when it's done. And, you know, next clip will be hopefully cut out, fitted, and getting ready to tool. So, thanks for keeping up with my stuff, guys. Just carving. Next step will be tooling, and then more carving and then tooling, and then more carving. This is some of the really time-consuming part. Terribly far into the process, I wanted to show you guys just what a difference. All that little bit of carving can do goes from, yeah, that, that's a wing-ish, to, oh yeah, that's feathers. It's a lot of time, but it's worth for a final project closer. It's been mostly assembled. Got a layer of dye, went back and the little bits where it was not 100% perfect lined up, shaved those off, that'll get re-dyed. Still gonna do a tiny bit of highlight paint, so the, the very tips will be a little bit of purple and a little bit of blue, maybe a touch of interference paint to give it that uh, kind of oil slick sheen and it's going to get a, um, what am I trying to say, a snap strap right there so that it will be a little bit more secure. It's a very, I'm not going to be able to do this with one hand I don't think, okay barely. It's a very snug fit, which I was hoping for, I was worried about, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it's one of those things where it, 
any problem that's a tiny bit out of my norm. I get a little bit nervous, but the rest of it, we're like, Good, you, you know how to do this. It's got a spot so the rather wide kilt belt can go through here and through here and then through there to hold all of that steady. Trying to think if I want to do something as a, a later on, maybe, maybe, maybe doing like a, another strap to piggyback off of the clip so that uh, I can make a, a device of some sort that'll attach here and leave a, a loop so it can then also be worn uh, up and down on the belt as well as a cross draw. So here's what we've got so far. Part of my crappy lighting, it is after hours and I'm up in the studio, so. To get a better video when it's actually daylight out. So you can see this a little bit of kind of oil slick sheen that you'd see on Raven Feathers. Almost done, just need to put the little uh, strap that'll allow it to be extra secure. It's a really tight fit, so I don't think we'll come...